communication really is simple. Let me give you an example of how simple communication is. I'd like everybody to stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. I need you to scatter out so there's lots of room between you and the next person. Lots of room between you and the next person. I am going to give you three simple directions. Three simple directions. And I want you to follow these directions as I give them to you. Direction number one, close your eyes. I see some of you still don't trust me. With your eyes closed, put your left arm out straight. Go. Direction number three, open your eyes, look around, and see what your neighbors have done. Okay, come on, you can get back and get comfortable in your seats. Did you see the different interpretations that you've got? I said, put your left arm out straight. And what do I get? I get this, I get this, I get this, I get this, I get this. <laughs> I can't remember where I did this. I once did that activity. I said, put your left arm out straight. This one woman went like this. <laughs> I have no idea where this woman was, but she was correct. She did exactly what I asked her to do. Some of you may have heard this expression, communication is a 50-50 proposition. Anybody ever tell you that? See, well, I take a little different slant on that. I say that communication is a 100% 100% proposition. Now, again, I was an English major, not a math major, but to me, communication truly is a 100% 100% proposition. As the speaker, I've got 100% of the responsibility to make sure you understand me the way I mean it. You, as the listener, you have 100% of the responsibility to make sure you understand me the way I mean it. Now, if you don't understand me, or that you're assuming, remember we talked about the word assume, what's your responsibility? Ask. Make a comment, right? I remember... I remember doing that activity in Ocean City, New Jersey. Ocean City, New Jersey. I did that activity and off to the right someplace. And I actually couldn't see this guy because they had these green plastic plants. I couldn't even see the guy. But I heard this voice from behind these green plastic plants. What do you mean by straight? Was he taking his responsibility? Sure. So remember, as a presenter, you have a responsibility to make sure that you're taking your hundred percent. Now part of that responsibility means learning to pause so that the insiders can catch up with you. Your responsibility is also to ask questions. Nate, how do you feel about that? Emily, how would you approach that? Jeff, have you ever used anything like this? See, learn to use questions and I will share with you what some of those questions are and how to use questions later on. But you've got to take responsibility from time to time during your presentation to make sure that you're connecting with people and that people are connecting with you. Does that make sense? These are things that you have to plan for. <laughs>